Hi, I'm Eileen and I'm in the TED class at the Miami Valley School and we were given the assignment to make a four to six minute video on anything we wanted. And um, what I'm going to share with you is something kind of personal, but it relates really well to the TED talk um, given by Morgana Bailey on the danger of hiding who you are that we watched in class last week. So when I was really little, um, school was really easy for me. I always got straight A's, I had lots of friends, I was considered to be one of the more popular girls in school, and um, I was never tardy. I was always more than on time to class, and if I ever received a tardy slip, I would sit in the back of the room and I would cry to myself until the end of the first lesson of the day. I really liked tests, they were super exciting. Any chance I ever got to challenge myself was a good good chance, and I always took it. Um, but you know, not all good things last forever, and as I progressed into the middle school years, uh, school became a lot harder for me. Um, I lost a lot of friends. I, you know, started being late, and I didn't care. And in seventh grade, I got my first B. And this was a B plus, but you know, it was my first B. So as any kid would do, I looked through all my grades for the term and I found the little flaw in the system that would give me the A minus that I thought that I deserved. And I succeeded and I got the A minus. But the next year, all of these Bs turned into Cs. And I lost more friends. Um, I ended up sitting alone at lunch every day not wanting to go to lunch uh, because, you know, I didn't have anyone to sit with. And um, I was late. I didn't care I was late because I was trying really hard to be on time. And I thought, well, if I just can't be on time, then why should I care? Um, freshman year, it continued to get worse. And I was in the pediatrician's office and I saw this pamphlet and it said, um, does your child have ADHD? And uh, it said, um, there are these five questions, and if you answer three of them with yes, then you should get tested. So I was sitting in there with my mom. I was there for my yearly checkup. And I said, Mom, look, I have all of these. Maybe I should get tested. And she thought it was a great idea. We talked to my pediatrician. She thought it was a great idea. But my dad, on the other hand, said no. He told me that there was nothing wrong with me and that I should bury these issues and work past it and uh, that I should hide that I had any problems and I was very upset <laughs> very upset I continued to be um, struggling through my sophomore year I underwent a school change to try and improve academically and I did improve academically but you know that doesn't help everything I was still having the problems making friends I was still having the problems with tardies and it got even worse um, it wasn't until my junior year when I started having college counseling and my college counselor told me that it would really be beneficial for me to get tested for ADHD because it would explain my school transfer and the struggles I've had over the years to the colleges and it would help me have a greater chance of admission. So when I told this to my dad, he thought, oh, well, you know, if it would help you get into college, then you know it's a good idea. So uh, my mom contacted the school board, the public school, because that's how you have to get tested for ADHD. And I went through the testing, and they said that I had too high of a GPA and too high of an IQ to be diagnosed. And at this point, I I didn't know what else to do because um, I didn't know what was wrong with myself. And I never was going to know. And no one else would understand me. And if no one else could understand me, then how could I understand myself? So I swallowed that hard pill and I continued on my senior year and at the beginning of my senior year my mom was talking to one of her work colleagues and she found out about this place in Cincinnati that they deal with um, children uh, with ADHD and they diagnose themselves uh, aside from the state board so my mom talked to my dad and I about the possibilities of me attending there and um, my dad was all for it and so was I so I started there the beginning of my senior year and immediately was diagnosed with severe ADHD, very severe ADHD. 
and uh, after a week of getting everything together, finding out exactly what I needed to do, I um, started on my treatment and immediately I saw results. My grades shot way up, my tests were improving, I could comprehend things, the way I processed everything, it helped me see the world through a whole different light and you know school was still a little, I mean not school but tardiness, you know, I'm still working on it but it's getting there. Um, and I was able to relate to people in a way that I'd never been able to before and I've made some of the best friends that I have ever had in my whole life and you know Morgana Bailey in her talk she said if you hide who you are you risk helping others and um, since then I was able to help someone like me because I rec recommended the place I've been going to them and since then they've been receiving treatment and if it wasn't for my recommendation they would still be facing the same struggles that I once faced and the same way that the person that told me about the center saved my life because I expressed my differences I was help I was able to help someone else